Hi friends, this is Lila. Welcome to my channel Lila Web Dev. So in the previous video, we have seen about the component VFN model, multiple uh, VFN model bindings and all those things we have seen it. Now it's the last concept in the component VFN model. That is nothing but how we can pass modifiers for this one. So we know that in when we are trying to learn about the form input bindings in that one, in the VFN model, we have added something like capitalize, no trim, uh, trim, lazy, like this, we have used those things. Those are called as in modifiers. So here, if you want to add a custom modifier, like something like filters, as in the view three, filters are not, not there. So uh, these are being removed, removed. So we can use the modifiers for the VFN model. So how we can add the modifiers for this one? Let's see the output. For example, let's say that here in this one, I don't want to allow hyphens for this one. So what I can do, I can add a modifier, something like no hyphens. So like this so this is our custom modifier now how we can use this modifier and how we can write the code for this one let's try to see it in the custom input component let's go here so whenever you have used this no hyphens so we are using the title right so that means with the name it will get a new prop that is nothing but title modifier if you don't use the argument here you will be getting model modifier that is the main thing so if you don't use the title you will be having the model modifier but you have used this one right for example i will try to show you we will remove the title then only we will add it so that we can do uh, total thing so model no hyphens so that means here you will be having the model value okay and here also you will be having the model value so that is a computer property right model value and here also model value so this one will be a model value and here also this one will be a model value like this you will be having so these are all the model values now vfn model is equal to value model value model value these are the things we will be having now what i want to show you is here, so in this one model value computed thing and all those things are okay now vfn model no hyphens is there now let's say that whenever you use this no hyphens modifier for this modifier you will be having a new props again that is nothing but model modifiers so this one you will be having something like default it's a method so default it is a method and it will return something like an empty object okay let's keep it like this model modifiers if some if nobody passes anything so like this you'll be having so here we are having the model modifier right i'm trying to remove this uh, computed value so let's make it as simple and this one will be a model value and when we are updating this one we can write it there also not a problem input i am using the update so in order to have a simple thing here this is update is a method so constant update is equal to we having like this and this one will take an event and here constant value is equal to event dot target dot value okay that is the thing now let's console.log let's then print the props i will show you one thing so this is the props and if i go to the output here model value vf and model okay value we need to use the value value this and if we see the output here let's refresh this page hopefully everything worked fine yeah and if i change it here we will be able to get here like this right so in this proxy object we are able to get the what i what i can say model modifier so here you'll be able to see the model modifier okay model modifier so where, where it will be in this where we can see all the things so fine so we will we are able to get a model modifiers so if i want to if i want to show you that one props dot model modifiers i will show you here props dot model modifiers if i, if I show you here if I write something See, we are able to get no hyphens true. Why? Because we are getting this no hyphens true. If I zoom over here, no hyphens true. Why we are getting this no hyphens true is, so if I go to this one in the custom component, so what I have did it here, so we have used this no hyphens. These are the modifiers. So like for that reason, we are getting the modifiers here. Now what I can do here, so we want to remove the hyphens, right? If props dot model modifiers of no hyphens okay this one is no hyphens we are having this one right no hyphens if it is there if it is there and if it is true 
then what i will do value is equal to i want to remove the hyphen value dot split of hyphen dot join with this one like this or otherwise you can use a regular expression right dot replace also you can use it that's it so we got the value and i will emit the value update model value yeah we got the model value and i will update the value here that's it we have updated this one let's see what will happen go here into this one with this one and if i refresh this page let's see the output and i am writing here assigning to constant variable okay so we need to use the let variable here why because we are updating the same thing right and if you see the output here yeah see we are able to get this one but i am trying to write in hyphen and hyphen is removed we'll try to write it lila hyphen lila hyphen web hyphen dev see this one all removed so if you want to add it with a space means you can use it the space join of space then what will happen i will use something like lila hyphen web hyphen Lila hyphen web hyphen dev. See that hyphen is converted into space here. If I try to do two hyphens, then you will be able to get two spaces. One and two spaces. Like this, we can use it. So this is how we can use the model modifiers like that. Now, if you are having a name for this one, for example, let's say the title. So this one I need to change it to title. Now we are using the model modifier with an argument. Then in this scenario, what will happen is then we need to change it to title here title and this will become title modifier not the model modifier so if you don't give any argument then it will default will be the model and here i can use the title and in this one also title modifier we need to use the title modifier and here we need to update the title value that's it hopefully everything changed and also here we are use the title so what is the title and value will not be there completely title only yeah so like this we need to change now if you see the output how it will look like hopefully everything works fine fresh yeah and here Lila web see i am adding the hyphens so it is going to the like this so is equal to pad nothing happening hyphen pad it is becoming the space so like this we will be using the model modifiers so that is the main thing you need to understand so now we have learned so many things in this one something like custom input passing vifn model to this one and also we can pass the multiple vifn model bindings to the component custom component and also we can use the model argument so to change the name of the model binding and also we can pass the bulk custom modifiers also like this we can write the custom modifiers for our form input bindings so this is all about the component vifn model if you have any doubts or any suggestions Please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.